2020 Infiniti QX50. Lease the all-wheel drive Infiniti QX50 for $399 a month. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. It's inconvenient from a societal standpoint, from an economic standpoint, to go through this. But this is going to be the answer to our problems. 30 days, the new plan from the White House with the hopes of saving thousands of lives. It's the uncertainty. It's not knowing. Uncertainty for pregnant women as they prepare to give birth in packed hospitals during a pandemic. And simple messages of encouragement for our frontline heroes. Right now at 11 o'clock, we're less than an hour away from D.C.'s stay-at-home order kicking in, while the mayor just announced 32 first responders now have COVID-19. This, as the number of cases here continues to accelerate, almost 3,500 in the region. Nationally, there are more than 180,000 cases, and we added close to 22,000 of those over the past 24 hours, and a staggering 130,000 in just one week. On Wall Street, the Dow ended its worst first quarter in the 130-plus year history of the index. The S&P not far behind with more losses today. Its worst first three months since 2008. And the White House sharing its modeling, signaling at the low end, more than 100,000 people could die from COVID-19 by this summer. And that's if strict social distancing is followed right now. John? Well, let's talk, you, talk more about that model you just mentioned. The White House is displaying this model right here. And in it, you can see the curve. There are three different scenarios. Let me break them down for you. Best case scenario. You see this bottom curve right here? You're still losing 1,000 people a day for about a month. That's best case scenario. The projection is the dotted line. You can see that goes up here to about 2,000 people in the United States a day dying from COVID-19, and that stretches all the way into June. A bad scenario, and I don't even want to say worst case scenario because we don't know what worse can be, but a very bad scenario is this curve right here. That's the one they're looking out for. You could see up to 3,000 plus people dying a day in the United States for a month and a half. Beginning of June, Dr. Anthony Fauci explains why social distancing is so important and they want to bring that curve down. When the increase in new cases begin to level off, the secondary effect is less hospitalizations, the next effect is less intensive care, and the next effect is less deaths. Mitigation is actually working and will work. Mitigation just means you stay away from other people, stay home, follow these orders. It's rough, I know, but you got to do it. Earlier, Dr. Deborah Burks, she also mentioned we're going to see spikes across every metro area in the country, just like we're seeing on the east and west coasts, that no place will be spared. ABC 7's chief political correspondent Scott Thuman with more on the White House task force new 30-day plan. As another day comes to a close in Washington, a sobering figure now that more Americans have died from the virus than those killed on 9-11. President Trump imploring Americans to be vigilant. Follow the guidelines for the next 30 days. It's a matter of life and death, frankly. No major changes being pushed, and they do see encouragement in some of the numbers from overseas. This is the case finding in Italy. They're beginning to turn the corner in new cases. They're entering their fourth week of full mitigation and showing what is possible when we work together as a community. Though it won't come easy. The doctors suggesting the death toll currently around 4,000 in the U.S. could span between 100 and 240,000. We got to brace ourselves. In the next several days to a week or so, we're going to continue to see things go up. We cannot be discouraged by that because the mitigation is actually working. New Gallup numbers indicate people are taking social distancing more seriously. In mid-March, just 23% avoided small gatherings. That's now 83%. 30% were avoiding public places like restaurants and stores. It's now 78%. Now is the time to put your foot on the accelerator because that's the only thing that's...